So the economy, I can simplify that, the economy is something that must grow. By must, it's not a law. I mean, it's just a lot happier when it's growing. 19, in 2009, the economy shrank by 2% worldwide, and it was a complete disaster. That's what I mean by must grow. And if you really think through the implications of an economy that must grow in order not to, to experience disaster, I mean, that's a scary thought. That'll scare anybody, okay? <laughs> it's a frightening thought. And this growth, this exponential growth, I want to take just a couple minutes and depart and talk about exponential growth because this is a very important concept. This is the kind of growth we're surrounded by. And exponential growth looks like this. It looks like a hockey stick chart, right? It starts out slow and then shoots up all, all of a sudden. So I want to explain this because as humans, we don't understand exponential growth intuitively. We don't really get it. It's really hard for us to understand. Linear growth we get easily. So here's an example. If I gave you two erasers and I said I'm going to score you on how well you're able to bring these together at a uniform rate, you'll do really well, just like everybody. But if I replace these erasers with two very strong magnets, you'll do what everybody does and you'll be really good up to about here and then, oh, I'll give you a hundred times to figure that out and your brain can't wire it up. It's just going to be really, really hard to do because we're not wired for exponential growth. It's something you have to study to understand. And so here's a quick way I, I found to explain this and talk about it. Um, so imagine for the moment that I have a magic eyedropper, and it's magic because when I put this drop of water out into your hand, it's going to double every minute. So we wait one minute, and we have two drops of water in our hand, and then another minute, and we've got four drops. And after six minutes, we can fill a thimble up. Do you have a sense of that growth? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to this stadium, and, um, and, and we're going to do a little thought experiment. And since it's my experiment, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start at 12 o'clock tomorrow, and I'm going to handcuff each of you to the highest row of bleacher seats. And I'm going to make the park watertight. At 12 o'clock, I go down into the center of the pitch, and I put one of these water drops down there. And the question is this. Starting at 12 o'clock tomorrow, put a magic drop out. It doubles every minute. How long do you have to escape from your handcuffs? So just think of an answer. And who, whoever hasn't seen this example before, shout out an answer. Who's got something for me? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Well, that's pretty aggressive. All right. Because six, six minutes gives us a thimble, so that's a, it's a big thimble um, for that next minute. Four hours. One hour. One hour. And everybody else has some sort of an idea in their head. The answer is you have 50 minutes to escape from your handcuffs. 50 minutes. And I see some skeptics out there. So perhaps I've underestimated the size, the volume of that park by 100%. Okay? You get an extra minute. So think 1251 if that helps you. Okay? <laughs> that makes you feel better. That's not the important question. This is the important question. At what time is this stadium still 97% empty space? And how many people realize the seriousness of the predicament? Five minutes before, it is still 97% empty space. So imagine this. All of human history from the first Australopithecus three million years ago to 1960 to put three billion people on the face of the planet. 40 more years to put the next three billion people on the planet. 11 years for the next one billion. We are now at seven billion inhabitants on this planet. So you have 45 minutes, nothing's really happening. Last five minutes, it all seems to happen. That's the nature of exponential charts when you have something limited, like you've got a fixed size of the planet or a fixed stadium or anything that's fixed. Things go slowly at first and they speed up at the end. That's why they're really hard to understand. So if things feel like they're going faster today, it's because, it's because they are. So this was a, a, that chart I started with. This is an actual chart. It's a chart of human population, Green's history. Red is the projection for the next uh, 40 years or so. And this is the world we live in. It's a very different world from the one even my grandfather was inhabiting. So let me just skip past that part. Oil. Oil production follows a pattern. Again, it's not a linear chart. It's a chart that looks like this. It looks like a hockey stick. And this is actual production. And so the reason that this is interesting to us is because oil is the master resource. Oil is how we move 95% of everything from point A to point B. If we don't have oil, almost everything else in our global just-in-time delivery economy becomes an impossibility because it's no longer just in time, it's, it's just a lot slower in time. And this chart is really interesting because we have a lot of data that suggests we know where the cap is on this stadium. We have an idea, a very fixed idea at this point, about how big our stadium for oil really is, how much we've got. 
And you'll notice that we are no longer at that flat early 97% part of this story. We are very close to the last five minutes of this story. And I want to get to some of that data in a minute. But here's the idea. You are surrounded by exponential charts. They're everywhere. Not linear charts, but ones that have these curves to them. And so understanding that that's the nature of the world we live in is a really important concept. And it's a concept that happens to define the world in which we live. And I could put other things. These are some environmental um, curves. But I could put up number of paper clips sold, or miles of, of road paved, or number of airplanes sold. It wouldn't matter. They would all look the same. And so it's really important to understand that we live in a world sur surrounded by these sorts of charts. And, and because they're everywhere, and I could pull examples from all three E's, uh, the real thing that I want to leave you with is the concept that when you live in an exponential world, it's you live in a world where things speed up towards the end. Things go very, very rapidly at the last few minutes of that story. It's not a linear story, and that's a really important concept for us. So by understanding that I'm surrounded by these exponential charts, it made the investing world for me just a little bit less confusing. And once I started to understand the role of energy in our current story, things became a little bit less confusing to me. And right now I want to define, make a, a definition here between two words, because I hear them a lot. Problems have solutions. If you're facing a problem, you can come up with a solution which gives you the opportunity to get back to how you, the condition you were just in. They can be solved. Predicaments have outcomes. We have to manage those outcomes. And knowing which you're in is really critically important because if you are in a predicament but trying solutions out for which no solution exists, you're wasting time. And I will submit to you that my thesis is that we are facing an energy predicament and we're treating it as if it's a problem. And so, you know, an example here, these two gentlemen have a problem on their hands. Apologies to any rock climbers, a very fake picture. Um, but they can solve this, this problem in a number of ways. They could lower a rope, put a mattress down, but they can end up in the same condition they started in. This gentleman is facing a predicament. He has to manage an outcome. Is he going to land on his feet or is he going to belly flop? But no matter how fast he pinwheels his arms backwards trying a solution out, he's not going back to the top of the cliff. Knowing whether you're in a problem or predicament is critical to the decisions you make and whether you're going to manage an outcome or waste time.